Hi everyone, Polar Pro Scale Models. Yes, I've had a bit of a name change. Uh, welcome back to another ISM at the Bench update. So yes, hello everyone. It's been six weeks since the last update. Uh, I thought about time. To uh, do a quick recap, I've got loads to go through. I've got three finished builds, uh, three in progress. I've got loads of purchase to go through, loads of pro scale news as well. Um, so stick around, get a cup of tea, put your feet up, and I will bore the living life out of you most probably. Um, so yes, the most prominent thing is a name change. Um, I changed my name from Paul ISM Scale Models to Pro Scale Paul Pro Scale Models. Um, I thought it made sense to tie it in with ProScale Paints, and there's no ambiguity about who I am uh, or what I'm a part of. Um, so yeah, it did it with the help from James. He edited our, well, he actually recreated our uh, ProScale logo uh, to incorporate the models thing. It's similar; it's not exactly the same, but James did a fantastic job, and uh, I just thought it made sense. So I think it rolls off the tongue a bit better. A lot of people thought it was Paulism, I'm not Paul ISM, so that gets rid of that as well. And uh, it's literally name change on Facebook, Instagram, um, and my own YouTube channel, uh, which is basically used for Patreon now more than anything. Um, so yeah, that's it. If you're looking for me, Paul, ProScale Models. So, speaking of ProScale, we're going to have a quick chat about some new stuff in stock. And later on in the video, we're going to go through the website very quickly have a look at some new products, new paints, blah, 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 etc., etc., just to, to go through and see what is uh, new over on the site. So we've got some uh, more Zoom On products. I think in our last bench update, I mentioned we would come a Zoom On stockist. So we're on our third order with them now, selling very well, absolutely fantastic products. Uh, the resin is top, top quality. I've just used one of their trans kits on the Honda NSX, you're going to see very shortly um and it is very very good resin uh they do trans kits from you know like 20 30 pounds all the way up to 60 odd pounds uh including full resin kits as well um obviously we can't stock everything that we said that they sell but we've been picking and choosing what we've got we literally just got the r33 400r room which everybody else had sold out of uh we had five and they, they're gone within an hour or so um but loads of stuff over there all the polishing pads are over there all the ancillary products um loads of stuff like i say in a bit we'll go through the uh the uh, website and have a good look also what we bought as well is these storage boxes i've been using these for years i'm getting a box i'm not rooting around pulling things out like we've had before on it so i use these boxes for store my in progress builds in uh, basically a plastic case hard plastic case uh with separate sections you get a larger one in the middle three small ones at the front and a long one on the side and it fits your body in uh it'll fit most of your sprues in there if you're clever and then basically once you've got things painted up they'll fit in there some aircraft will fit in there figures some armor will fit in there um there are paints get a hold of these and i've literally wiped nearly everywhere out of them so we've got them on our site as well so you're going to have a look they are gray and white it's a gray bottom with a clear top um but you can go and have a look at those on the site as well and we've also finally, something I've been after for years that isn't really available in the UK at all, is some distributors. So for like American V8, basically, uh, the distributor cap and lead. So these are pre-made, pre-built, absolutely by far the best quality I've seen. Uh, I've used them on a couple of builds, and they're absolutely fantastic. Um, so they're over on the site as well. I've got all different colours. There's a limited stock right now. I just bought them to see how they'd sell. And uh, If they sell well, I'll order some more in. But like I said, we'll go through ProScale in a little bit and have a look at what's what over there now i've got three finished builds i've got three in progress builds we've got purchases to look at group builds to talk about and that's it that's it so it's been busy me and hannah have been absolutely up the wall with pro scale it's been very very busy so if you put an order in thank you very much for your orders um we're adding to the site all the time we're over four uh, sorry 552 paints i think it is now uh, we had that giveaway a while back um, of the Tamiya kit with the Zoom On uh, trans kit and all paints for it. Uh, Mark Bride won that, so well done, Mark. That was absolutely fantastic. Um, so, yeah, it, it's been good. We've been very, very busy, and, uh, yeah, it's ticking over really well. So thanks for your support, everyone. 
You're absolute legends. You are absolutely brilliant. Right, finish builds. RX-7. I think I showed this in the last bench update. It was part started. It's now finished. This was the Alpha Models 124th Master RX-7 feed. Uh, you're going to see me looking down because I've got notes on my screen. Uh, it was a good kit. It went together all right. The rear window was an absolute nightmare to do. The video build for this is up on Patreon. I'm about three months ahead on Patreon at the minute. So the trickling over to ISM um, slowly. I've made that much content that Patreon is just packed with content at the minute. Uh, incidentally, if you want early access, you can come with Patreon down below. And you literally get three months early access. One of these every week. Uh, you get 10% off Pro Scale Paints if you put an order in. Or just off our paints. Or our products, rather. Um, at the applicable tier. And there's a few other perks as well. There's a Facebook chat group, Facebook messenger group, and a Facebook uh, supporter group as well. Sorry. Um, so, yeah. The RX-7. It was a good kit. It went together well. That rear window was a bit of a nightmare. Like I say, the builds, uh, it'll be over on Pro on ISM in probably about a month or so now. Uh, but this was primed in Pro Scale Paint Pink Primer. It was painted in Pro Scale Master Blaze Red. I did originally paint it in a Master Blue colour, and I wasn't happy with it, and I stripped it off. I show this in the video. Um, it didn't show the lines of the model very well, so I changed my mind on the colour and uh, went for a completely different colour instead because i thought if i'm not happy now i won't be happy later so we started again stripped it all off uh so the master blaze red it was red it's redder than a red thing this thing um it was tamiya dark gray panel line washed as well and cleared with our fantastic pro scale paints 2k clear coat the wheels are painted in pro scale paints antique gold which is a phenomenal color Calipers are done in Pro Scale Titanium Silver. The interior is Pro Scale Napa Black Leather. The seats were Pro Scale. Sorry. Yeah, the seats were painted in Pro Scale uh, Brembo Red. It was probably the brightest red I had at hand. I used some of the Edward PE um, six point harnesses in there. They look great. Uh, I used all the kit carbon and exterior, which is absolutely brilliant as well. And uh, I popped one of our Zoom On Japanese number plates on. The Zoom On number plates are great. You get an embossed piece of PE. That matches the decal that sits on top of it. It literally looks like a stamped number plate. They are brilliant. Um, flattered all the bodywork back with the six and eight thousand tries of pads and polished it all up uh, with my Proxom with the Zoom On uh, polishing compound sponges and some Minzerna compounds and Auto Glim Super Resin Polish. And then gave it a final shine up with the UMP shine spray wax and yeah it was a good kit that rear window the curve on that was a nightmare uh i show how i did it in the in the video uh it's not a bad kit at all the rear uh light lens is a bit short so not the best fit but overall a good kit and i actually enjoyed building this one uh i actually soldered some of the pe on this as well uh which is interesting to do and again i show it all in the video build Next up was the um, Hobby Design 24 scale Nissan R33 400R. So this is a full resin kit from Hobby Design. And the kit we had over on Pro Scale was a trans kit for the Tamiya R33 to make this car. So whichever one you do, I'm sure you're going to turn out absolutely wonderful. This kit was fantastic. This car is awesome. And as soon as I seen this marine blue, I was like, that's the colour I've got to do. So this is the colour I went for. Uh, no real complaints other than the wheel hub mounts needed some trimming to get them to fit. Yeah, they're a bit of a pain in the butt. Uh, but other than that, this was a really nice kit to build. So for some reason, Hobby Design, um, they release kits under the Hobby Design banner and Alpha Models do it under there. I believe they're the same company. The kits look identical. Uh, but they tend to release different things under different names. Not sure why, but they do. This was primed in Pro Scale Grey Primer, painted in Pro Scale uh, Nissan Deep Marine Blue, which is a phenomenal colour. Tammy Black Panel Line Wash, cleared with Pro Scale 2K. The wheels were painted in Pro Scale uh, Porsche Pure White. I just wanted a really white paint to go on it. Uh, we used a Pro Scale Chrome system on the exterior rim as well. Uh, the calipers were Pro Scale Deep Black. The interior is Pro Scale Black Grey and Anthracite Leather colours. I mixed it up to give a different tone on them. And Anthracite Black Flocking on the carpet from Pro Scale as well. Again, a zoom on Japanese number plate. Flatted back with the Trizac 3M 3, 3 uh, 6 and 8000 pads. And polished up with the uh, rotary tool with the zoom on polishing sponges, Minzerna compounds, and the Autoglum polish. And the UMP spray wax. And this thing turned out absolutely beautiful. 
The kit itself is wonderful. The car is awesome. That blue, absolutely fantastic. And those rotary polishing sponges are a game changer. They really are. I've refused to use them for quite a while, and I kick myself now because not only are they faster, they're more efficient, especially the Menzerna compounds. Still use the UMP if I'm going to hand polish, but they just... It needs a cut and power of a proper compound, if that makes sense. Not a proper compound, but a more aggressive compound uh, on the body with the um, with the sponges because they're powered rather than hand-powered. Um, and what a game-changer it is. Absolutely fantastic. So great-looking car, great-looking kit. Turned out absolutely wonderful. Next up after that was the Tamiya Honda NSX, the original OG NSX, which is a car I absolutely love. Uh, and I used a Zoom on Type R trans kit for this. Probably the simplest trans kit I've ever seen. Um, it did come with a bit of resin trim for the rear lights. It needs to cut out. I couldn't see any benefit in using it. And don't forget, just because you buy this aftermarket stuff, it doesn't mean you need to use everything in there. There's some bits of PE that just simply aren't worth replacing the plastic with um, because the plastic's just as good or the hassle involved. So don't feel pressed into using everything out of trans kits or PE detail upsets. Use what you feel comfortable using, like I did here. I didn't see the benefit in cutting out the rear. So, yeah, that's what I went with, and um, that's what we got there. Um, so, this uh, was it was great. The Tamiya kit itself is fantastic. You can pick that off like £20, and the quality is absolutely phenomenal. The Tamiya kit, Zoom on Trans kit, great. You got the wheels, you got the uh, seats. P set, um, new engine cover, loads in the set, and it just made this an absolutely fantastic build. Uh, I kept the ride height standard, as I want to look like the original car, and I think lowering this would have been a bit of a nightmare. Uh, I also kept the front lower lights in, not necessarily by choice. I completely forgot to remove them while I was building it. But hey, I quite like the look of those lower lights anyway, so it was all good. So this was prime. I had a bit of a calamity with this one, which you can watch the video build about, and it was mistakes of my own. Um, this was primed second time round with Pro Scale Paints White Primer. Uh, I used a different primer the first time and I regret it. Painting in Pro Scale Honda Championship White for the second time because the first one I used a Grand Prix white and it wasn't white enough. So, again, and deep black for the roof, masked off, uh, masked off and sprayed. It was given a Tamiya dark grey panel line wash and then cleared with Pro Scale 2K clear as usual. Uh, the wheels were painted in the same Honda Championship white. Interior was black grey leather from ProScale and ProScale Anthracite flocking. And the body flatted back with the same 6 and 8,000 trizic pads and polished up with the Zoom on compound sponges and Manzerna compounds. And the UMP Shine Spray, as always. And again, this one turned out great. It's an iconic car, especially the Type R, white with those beautiful white wheels and the iconic red seats. I did also put a uh, Edouard... Uh, oh, did I? Did I put Edward in? No, I might not have. I don't think I did put Edward belt in. No, I didn't. I thought I did. I was going to, and I changed my mind at the last minute. Um, but yeah, really great and uh, really nice kit. Even just the base kit itself and Tamiya, absolutely wonderful. Right, so on to in progress build. So we've got the 4GT. This is the newer 4GT. I built this kit years ago. Always regretted not video building because it was a great kit and it turned out really well. One of my patrons contacted me saying, if I buy this for you, will you build it? And I was like, go on then. So he said to me, thank you, Graham. You're a legend, mate. Um, all I've done just so far is prepped, primed, painted, and cleared the body. So I went with an unusual color on this one. Not everyone's going to like this. I went for a General Motors color on it. I went with Zeus Bronze. And I think the color looks really good. I've got some pictures. I'll pop them up. Um, and this is where it's at right now. I've got to do uh, carboning on some of the trim. And then all the running gear. It shouldn't take that too long to do. It's not that complex of a build. But I've got kind of got, not stalled, but it's been put to one side to the 2K cure while I was working on other stuff. So you get squirreled sometimes, don't you? But we'll get back to this one very soon. But the colour looks absolutely fantastic. It's over there and it just looks absolutely great. Um, the other... Uh, oh, do you know what? I missed another... I missed a finished build. I've got four finished builds. I forgot. We'll go back in a second. Um, we've also got the Superbird underway as well uh which was in that box you've seen before so this is the old johan superbed it's a ropey old kit i've replaced the engine which was dire with a iceman collections uh 426 hemi i've replaced the wheels with some of the spurs box i've put some better seats in it as well and i kind of didn't like a resto mod 
So I painted it in um, lime light -like green, and it was too light. I didn't like the color. And then I went with Chrysler Green Go, was it? I forget the color now. It's there. Two seconds. Uh, it is Green Go. I was right. Chrysler Green Go, which is a darker green. Looking online, these things look to have been sprayed in different colors. So I opted for the darker green, which is that Green Go. So I resprayed over the top, and it looks a lot better. Cleared with Pro Scale paints. Everything else is painted up. It's all in that box ready to go, and I'll show that in the next bench update. It's a ropey old kit, but I think it's going to go together all right. I think. We'll find out. But anyway, it's a 54-year-old kit, so it is knocking on a little bit. Um, but hopefully, it'll go together with no real dramas. Right, my, my last build, and this one is definitely one of my favourites, is my Ravel 62 Impala. How I forgot about this one, I don't know. Um, so, I need to find my cheat sheet now. Because I've screwed up here now. I need to go right back to the top of my page. There we go. To read out what I did. Because I built that many things. I forget what the hell I believe. So this was Ravel 62 and Paul. And I was inspired by a friend of mine, Dan, who built this in Forest Green. And it looked fantastic. And as soon as I seen this build, I was like, wow, I need to build that. Um, so I did. So Dan very kindly sent me some stuff, which you're going to see in a bit. He sent me um, some wheels and brakes and what have you. And I used them on this. And the kit, just excellent kit from Revel. And the colour just absolutely suits this. So it's one of my favourite builds I've ever done. And certainly one of my best pieces of work, I think, as well. So this is Revel's 25th scale 62 Chevy Impala. Uh, it was a fantastic kit, it really was. Highly recommend this one. The Pro Scale Paints Susalito Fire Mist Green looks superb, along with the Pro Scale Paints Chrome System, which really gets highlighted in this build. So it was primed in Pro Scale Grey Primer, painted in Pro Scale GM Susalito Fire Mist Metallic. Absolutely amazing green colour. It was given a Tamiya Black Panel Line Wash and cleared with Pro Scale 2K Clear. The wheels are 23-inch Pegasus wheels. I can't remember what wheels they were. Now, they were a copy of a Torque Thrust, I think, I think it was. I can't remember now. Which I semi mac cleared with Tamiya LP23, I think it was. No, 24. Um, to make them match our chrome. Because out the box, the chrome on the wheels was way too shiny. Uh, the Pegasus brake disc, which are chrome, was stripped and repainted in Pro Scale Steel. Uh, the engine was painted in Pro Scale uh, GM engine orange and various pro scale metallics and I put a pro scale paint VA distributor on there The first one I used absolutely fantastic All the kit chrome was stripped and repainted with the pro scale paint chrome system, which looks absolutely amazing And again, I use a zoom on us license plate on it. The interior is papyrus gray leather color uh, Well, it's actually white from pro scale and I use body colored um, engine parts and interior trim pieces as well to break up the color. Uh, I modified the suspension to lower it and uh, added white flocking in there for the carpet. So it's a, like a weird green color on the outside and really bright white on the inside. It's definitely a, uh, a contrasting build. Uh, Bodywear flattered with the 3M6 and 8000 pads and polished up with the Zoom on sponges and Manzerna compounds and UMP spray shine wash wax rather and this thing just turned out wonderful absolutely beautiful looking car great kit from Ravel with those added extras I think it just took it to the next level by far one of my favorite builds and I think one of my best pieces of work I also got a new photo booth from Amazon uh, and this is just highlighted this build wonderfully um, it's a lot less harsh than my old photo booth um, yeah, if you want the link to this, drop me a message and I'll send you a link to the uh, the booth. It's actually reduced to £75 on Amazon at the minute. And the pictures I got out of it are absolutely wonderful. So by far my favourite build this. And the video build is sat there waiting to be edited. 22 hours of footage to edit that I'm kind of uh, procrastinating on doing at the minute. Uh, but it's definitely something I'll be doing over the weekend. So there we go. That's everything uh, in progress and uh, done. The FXXK is still there waiting to be carried on. I just got Squirrel doing other things. I've got loads of other builds planned coming up as well, as well as all the group builds. Speaking of which, I'm going to look up because my sheet's on the ceiling. Uh, we've got the Ferrari GB, which is still ongoing. All these builds are just going to go on and on and on until whenever. I'm not bothered when these finish. But if you want them showing, you need to finish it before the 1st of April. Hang on, that's not right, is it? 
January, February, March. Yeah, 1st of April, I need to finish your buy, sorry. And that way, I'll show it on the bench updates and my patron updates as well. We've got the JDM build still going as well, and the supercar, hypercar build, which is what my four GTs entered into. And then starting on the first, we've got the multimedia GB. So any kit that's got any extras in there, PE, resin, anything like that, or anything you add extras to, so say aftermarket decals, aftermarket wheels, aftermarket engine, um, landing gear, barrels, whatever. And it can be any genre of kit, anything at all. doesn't matter. It's not just all car, car orientated my group builds. Some of them are, but I've tried to leave them open for everybody. Uh, and then after that one, in May, we've got the 80s and 90s GB, which is build anything from that era. So again, it's a wide open group build. So hopefully we get people taking part. There's quite a few people taking part, which is good. Um, I've got some buddy builds to do uh, along the way as well with people. So you'll see a few of those pop up too. Um, but it's certainly keeping me busy along with Pro Scale and all the Hangouts. Hangouts are still ongoing, um, doing really well. Um, and yeah, we're all in there building away every day, uh, having a good laugh. It's busier of a night now, which is good. Um, I'm coming out later of a night a lot more. Uh, and we're going live on some Saturday nights. Not every Saturday. I didn't go live last Saturday, but hopefully this Saturday. Uh, we'll go live from about 10 p.m. UK time till gone midnight. Um, so come on over. It's on the ISM channel, on this channel. Um, subscribe to your channel, hit the bell, and you'll get notified when I go live, hopefully. Right then, purchases. So I've had a lot of purchases this month. Um, I'm not going to lie. It's been, um, yeah, it's been quite a, a busy month for purchases. So I'm just going to go through and just move some stuff around and get you guys... Back on top there. Let me do that. No, I've gone the other way. It's probably froze my screen. There we go. That's the one we're looking for. Right, so purchases. So I'm going to go through in timeline order because I bought that much stuff that it's just crazy. Um, so I need a new respirator, primarily for 2K um, and just general painting. So I've got this 3M6000 uh, respirator and the applicable best uh filters i could get which were the a2s um these are a bargain price on ebay at the minute you get for 65 pounds it's nearly half price so go and have a look if you're looking for a new uh respirator also got some pre-filters and this picture here shows the importance of using pre-filters on your respirators because that's from a few months use and you can see all the paint particles that have been caught just on the pre-filter so it also makes your main filter last a bit longer as well so very important to get your pre-filters um whole host of SD cards, very kindly sent to me by one of my patrons. Thank you, buddy. Uh, and some die-cast stuff as well. I've got a lot of die-cast in here at the minute. I've been collecting loads of it. Um, just to fill the room up a bit, add a bit more interest in here. There's, it's Hot Wheels galore in here and die-cast, all sorts of stuff. But those 256 gigabyte SD cards, absolutely fantastic. So uh, thank you to my wonderful friend for buying me those um the same person also sent me some great stuff all the way from america uh he sent me a 69 dodge charger daytona some pegasus wheels detailing set some discs uh tweezers and a bottle of hooch he actually sent me a nice bottle of uh, alcohol it's not really it's UMP uh airbrush cleaner in there i just the bag it came and i thought it looked quite funny like that but anyway i'm simple and a dodge daytona charger um so thank you mate for that as well Here's the 4GT Graham bought me. Thank you, buddy. And that's the colour I was originally going to do it in, which was the liquid blue. And then changed my mind at the last minute and went for the Zeus bronze, which I know is not like me at all. So thank you very much, Graham, for that. I'm looking forward to finishing that off. Hopefully we'll get it done soon. Um, Lego released the uh, McLaren Senna, the 4-4. Um, so I had to get that. So bought that and built that. Great bit of Lego. And then some kits that I bought recently. We've got a 67 Chevelle Pro Street. This build will be coming up very, very soon. Um, I got a 71 Plymouth Hemi Cuda, 69 Pontiac GTO, and a 69 Dodge Super B. I love the Super Bs. They're great cars. Uh, so I bought a load of those. Uh, I also got sent the LaFerrari La Ferrari Aperta from Alpha Models. So you'll see a review of that at some point. And, out of curiosity, I bought the new Harder and Steenbeck 2024 Evolution to try it. It's definitely improved over the old one. I still don't like them. They've still got all the traits I don't like of the old Evolutions. Uh, spitting paint being the worst one. My, my Evolution always spat paint everywhere, always on the model. No matter how cautious and careful I was, it drove me around the bend. 
and the trigger while pressing down pulling back for paint is a lot more um smooth now pressing down for a it's just too vague compared to my waters way too vague so i had it for about three days used it once or twice and sold it got rid of it uh, they're just not for me each to their own on airbrushes i'm definitely an eye water fan uh which i bought another one you'll see in a minute but it's a definite improvement to the evolution if you've never had an airbrush before and you buy one you'll love it and if you've got the old harders and you buy it you'll love it again for me it's just too far apart from the feel of the eye waters and you get used to what you use at the end of the day uh, a whole host of other kits I bought as well. I got a 67 Chevelle SS, Corvette ZR1, a 67, uh, 60 Chevy Impala, 66 Chevy SS396, and a 64 Chevy Impala as well. All cheap secondhand. They were good kits. Also got AMT 69 hair sold on rec uh, recommendation from Brandon, and a 69 Camaro Z28. Uh, I bought myself and my boy two new rock crawlers. Uh, some Traxxas TR4M. Um, we've had some FTX 24 scale, uh, what are they call mini Outbacks we had for over four years and they've been absolutely fantastic. I thought it's about time we went up in scale a little bit in quality. And these things, uh, we've only used them once and I'm going to set a course up for us to in the Cahartan. But they're absolutely fantastic. I've got a little video here as well, I'll chuck up. Um, really good quality. Uh, I do like the Traxxas products and not a bad price for them either. Like I said, I've got a video there very quickly of them driving around, doing some fun with James. We've got a new Zoom on stocking, uh, and I pilfered a few bits for myself. I've got the Tota um, uh, A86 uh, TRD kit for it. Uh, a couple more polisher sponges for myself, some seats, uh, rear spoiler and front lip uh, off the Mark IV Supra, and some of the razor saws from Zoom on as well. Also got myself an Iwata HPB plus which you'll see why in a minute so this is like a hpc but with a smaller color cup and a two mil needles for a bit more precision a bit more fine line work and the reason i did that is because i bought some aircraft and armor now i sat there the other day thinking about some of the kits in the stash and i've got some larger scale car kits and larger scale aircraft kits aboard primarily a p47 and a p51 and looking around, I'm quite short on room in here. This place is well packed. I thought, where the hell am I going to put all this larger scale stuff? I thought, you know what? Let's sell them. Let's buy the smaller scale, 48 scale counterpart, which will fit in the display case or wherever. And that's what I've done. So I got rid of my mini, no, I got rid of my Trumpeter P47 and my Tamiya P51 and bought the Mini Art uh, brand new P47, which, geez, looks an amazing kit. Absolutely phenomenal. Uh, I'll do a review of this, and I bought the Edward P47, the Mighty 8th, I think it was. Um, so I've got a few kits up for sale. I'll flash some pictures up very quick of what I've got for sale on screen. If anything catches your eye, let me know, and I'll give you a price on it. Um, but I just thought it made sense to downsize the kits from larger scale to smaller. You've got more chance of seeing them from me then. I did the 30-second scale Fokker Wolf that lives up there and that's a small aircraft so anything bigger it's just where the hell am i going to put it i really i'm going to struggle for room so i thought this made sense sold those off and used that money to buy these kits instead so it cost me nothing extra and i get kits that i'm more than likely going to build like i say any of those kits there they're all for sale anything catches your eye drop me a message and i'll give you a price so the mini r kit looks absolutely fantastic i also bought the panzer II luke's from classy hobby uh 16 scale it's a big kit i had this years ago and it looks an absolutely fantastic kit and i kind of always regretted selling it so i opted to buy it again and i got it for a good price online and it literally arrived yesterday so again i'll do a review of that at some point um it's just a kit i always wanted to build always regretted selling it and i thought you know what i'm gonna get it again why the hell not and i also bought an artillery ford escort because chris at c1 models has announced his x pack his standard RS2000 and the Professionals RS2000 trans kit. So go over to see all models and have a look there. Absolutely fantastic. Bargain price as well. It's like £55 for the trans kit body, wheels, engine parts, full interior, suspension, drivetrain. Absolute bargain. So I bought this in preparation for that. And about two, three weeks ago, I bought myself a new iMac. So... My Max and my MacBook are what I use for ProScale, for my video editing. They are very important 
um, hardware in what I do. So uh, my old iMac died last year and Rich Blonde in Blessing bought me a reconditioned 2017 model which has been working great, but as it's getting used more and more, I've noticed it's starting to slow down. I have the same traits my old iMac had. I thought, you know what? Let's just go out and buy a new one, get it done. So it's on the never never, you know, it's on finance because these things aren't cheap. Um, and I've had a bit of a move around, bought a brand new 4K monitor as a second monitor as well because I use my two monitors all the time. And uh, yeah, so we're fully up to speed there now with a new Mac as well. So that'll keep us running keep the videos going i go over from a mechanical hard drive to a solid state absolute night and day the speed it saves stuff is phenomenal i've had the uh, 2023 macbook for uh, nearly a year now and that is where i use for my video editing and that thing is absolutely fantastic and this iMac again just makes life easier for me and um yeah keeps everything going and ticking along so yeah really happy about that had to have a bit of a rearrange of the bench um condense a few of my storage units down but i think it fits on there all right and it looks okay right then so there we go that is all the purchases gone through yes i know what a waffle that was i need to get the correct screen up which is that one um so what we're going to do now very quick is uh or try and keep it quick is i'm going to go to the pro scale website and have a quick look at everything in stock not everything but everything new in stock i think it's important and some of the new colors over there as well so we'll shoot over there and we'll come back in a second right then so over on the pro scale paints website as you can see we've added a few new sections at the top um, we've also got all the new releases are here so if you click on this you'll get 20 of the newest paint colors or products that have been added but if you go at the top we've got uh, our products so these are all the pro scale products here so 2k chrome candy flip leather i've also added sections for engine colors and wheel colors and if you go through all the other ones are there including the storage solutions which we'll look at in a second uh, you can also go by colors by manufacturer you can go through pick the manufacturer applicable so if you go to say i don't know uh, chrysler there's loads of chrysler colors there you can go through and pick your colors uh, so on and so forth. We've also got our distributors here, which again I'll come back and look at in a minute. Zoom on aftermarket products, and now we stock Bob Smith Industries glue as well, which again, fantastic news. So I'll go through section by section that's new, and we'll have a look at what we've got. So obviously we've got all our standard products here. Like I said, I put all the engine colours together, uh, all the wheel colours, and these will be added to over time. Storage solutions down the bottom. For the only one that in the minute is our uh, storage box. So uh, these are in stock at £9.50 each. And as you can see, they are pretty cool. So loads of room in there uh, for all your uh, builds like I've got here. Don't know why the picture goes so damn big. It's crazy. There we go. As you can see, you get room there for your model, all your bits down the side. And there's two sections at the front as well. And like I say, hard plastic. So they can stack and they keep your model nice and safe which is really cool so they're in stock you can come and have a look if you are ordering from overseas contact us because it does put the overseas postage up by about six or seven dollars i think because of the size of it so if you're outside the uk make sure you contact us about that pre-wired distributors these things are absolutely fantastic they are really really nice quality so by far the best i've seen so you get a nice turn metal base plastic top the wires are in there with their little boots on top of the distributor and you get the spark plug ones for the other end so literally stick this where the kit distributor would go run your leads cut them to length and put your boots on and super glue them in place and they look absolutely fantastic very high quality now admittedly not the cheapest they're 15 pounds each but it's just one of those things i had to buy these at full price i couldn't get trade on them uh, and we also got here for customs sadly as well it's, it's just one of those things so Maybe at a later date, if I order more, I can get the price to come down a bit. But right now, that is the price that we've got, unfortunately. But trust me, they are beautiful. They are well worth the money. Uh, Bob Smith Industries, we've added the excellent Super Gold Plus. This is the non-fogging CA glue that I use for all my glass parts. Absolutely brilliant stuff. So it doesn't haze or fog glass. Uh, it will mark it if you get it on there um absolutely brilliant stuff we've got the insta set uh accelerator as well the maxi cure which is the thickest super glue and the insta cure which is uh, not as thick um gap filling and 
absolutely fantastic glues. And the debonder. Now, the debonder is fantastic because it will remove CA glue from any places you don't mean to put it. So if you say glue and like PE together and you accidentally get a bit of extra super glue on, a little bit of this on a co cotton bud and you can wipe it off. Same on the bodywork of cars. I show this in the RX-7 build when you watch that build. I got a bit of um, 2K, uh, sorry, a bit of CA glue on a 2K. A bit of this on a cotton bud got 90% of the CA uh, glue off and a quick polish up got the rest. So it is fantastic stuff, well worth having. And obviously if you glue your fingers together, this will debond it as well which i think is the main purpose of this stuff zoom on so loads of stuff now a bit of this is out of stock and it's probably because they're out of stock at the zoom on end they are a little slow at restocking it's probably the one downside um but the quality of the stuff is fantastic so we've got a few of the trans kits still in stock um these vary from just like body arch pieces like this where you get like the wings like here so you get the actual wings, uh, bumpers, bonnets, and what have you, to kits like this where you actually get the full resin replacement body. So, yeah, they vary on what they are. The prices are reasonable for what they are. You obviously, you need trans kits for these as well. Um, so on that one, it's like the Tamiya kit and the other one as well. Um, this Fast and Furious one will be my build in the multimedia one. I'm going to do this in our anniversary colour, which is sold out as well. And we've got loads on here as well. There's some quite funky stuff, like these little Monte Moto Compo bikes. We've got some of the seats in as well. Uh, the number plates, sadly, starting to sell out quick. Um, we go through, we've got the full range of seat belts, green, black, blue, and red. Some carbon fibre bits, which are sadly sold out as well. A little child seat, which I just had to get. Um, we've got some stencils for your intercoolers. We've got the finishing polishing pads. Sorry, the mini polishing pads that I've been using. Like I say, they are an absolute game changer. Some exhaust, some fasteners, razor saws, mirrors. All sorts of stuff over here. Badges, tire decals, drill bits. Um, gear knobs, steering wheels, some mass sets as well. So a whole host of stuff over here. Uh, obviously, we do gift cards as well. Looking to buy a gift for somebody. And like I say, as our home screen says, we create custom colours at no extra cost. You're able to find a colour, contact us, hit the contact us or email us uh, and we'll get, uh, we'll try, do our best to try and match it. So added a load of new paints lately. All the Ford Hertz colours were requested, so they're on there. Some Honda colours, absolutely beautiful colours. I mean, look at that deep green from Subaru. That colour is absolutely phenomenal. Beautiful colour. Um... All sorts on there. Um, yeah, it is. It's great. We had a bit of a cap change. We changed our caps to these ones. We've gone back to our originals. It was literally just a supply problem. But we're back to our original white with red uh, anti-tampers on now as well. So you may notice a change when you're buying newer uh, paint offers. But there we go. We offer postage all around the world. Very reasonable cost. Pretty quick as well across... Um, outside the uk so come over and have a look if you've got any questions again pop them down below and i'll try and answer them as i go there we go let's go back to me okay there we go so yeah as you can see lots of cool stuff over on pro scale so head on over there and uh, get yourself some stuff as i said in the video don't forget we color match at no extra cost which not a lot of companies do um and we've got loads of products on there as well we try and get every order out next day if we can Obviously, it's just myself and Hannah doing this, so we have got a family as well. So if family, you know, commitments get in the way, things might delay a little bit. But we try and get parcels out the next day. In the UK, it's next day postage. And overseas, it's the cheapest and uh, fastest service we can find that works really well. We've had over a 1,000 orders with ProScale now. Uh, and no, virtually no problems at all. So that speaks for itself. We had a big milestone the other week. Uh, we were a year old. The company was a year old. We had our thousandth order on that day, and I put the 500th paint up on. I think it was like a day before. Um, so a good milestone to get to. So here's to another 12 months of business with ProScale and adding more and more products to the site. And there we go. That's it. It's a long waffle. I know. I told you I had a lot to go through, didn't I? Um, like I say, if you want to become a patron, you get early access to all the videos. The, it really is early access at the minute. You get like three months early access. Um, you get in a week, weekly bench update. Every Saturday morning, I do a bench update. It gets uploaded mid-afternoon. And it's it's this long. It's a proper in-depth bench update every week. 
Um, so you can come over there and have a look at that. You can be added to a Facebook supporter group where it's in private, just supporters. You share your work. I go through that page every week on the bench update, look where everyone's been sharing. Uh, and there's a Facebook chat group as well. Uh, there's like, I think it must be about 80 of us in there now. Um, all chat away. Not all the patrons are in there, but about half of them are. Um, you can get added to that and talk to us. You can talk to me one on one, talk to all the other lads and girls in there as well. And it's good. It's good. Uh, it's a good little community we've got there. Uh, and of course, you keep me being able to do this without you um, support me doing this. I couldn't do this every day. So thank everyone that asked me for a patron uh, and still is. And if you want to become a patron, you can cancel at any point. You can just come over, have a look. If it's not for you, you can think, oh no, I'll cancel. Or you can keep supporting and, and keep going and come join our community. It's as simple as that. So there we go. That's a bench update. That's everything I've gone through. If you've got any questions or comments, post them down below. <laughs> I love reading all your comments. I really do. I very rarely find the time to respond to them all because they just mount up. There's over, there must be like 12, 1,300 videos on ISM now. And they're, all your videos still get comments on them. And if it's to sit there answering comments, I'd be there all day. It just, it's crazy. I try and answer any with questions or I'll go through periodically and answer them. Um, but literally it takes up hours answering questions every week. So uh, I try my best to keep up. So if you don't get a response, don't be offended. I will have read it. I guarantee everyone pops up on my phone. I read them all, and they do spare me on with the builds and uh, with the videos. So if you've got anything to ask or say, just pop it down below. I will read it, honestly, I will. And uh, come and join our offer Hangouts. The link is, is it in the description or did I get rid of it? I can't remember now. If it's not in the description anymore, Drop me a message and I'll send you a link to the Hangout. You can come and join us. It's just very informal, chatting, talking. Don't even have to be modelling. You can come over and join us and uh, have some fun, laughs, jokes, do some modelling, chat about all sorts. And, uh, yeah, come and join our community there as well. So there we go. I think the next build video you're going to see is the last part of that Porsche build. And then after that, I've got no idea. I'm playing catch-up at the minute with... Recent videos from Patreon and the older ones that you guys missed out on that I decided to reload over. Also, apologies for the video I released the other day. I put up the Meng, uh, Meng Magak video. Wasn't even thinking. was on autopilot. I made that video ages ago before any of the conflict over in... Um, yes, I'm not going to mention it because it just caused you trouble. Put it up and a couple of people said, probably not the best video. And I thought, oh, do you know what? I never even thought about that. So I took the video down, and we'll put it up at a later date at some point. We'll figure it out. Uh, but it wasn't done on purpose. It was just me on autopilot, just going through the videos in the timeline order. So apologies for that. But, yeah, I pulled it straight away, and, uh, yeah, that's it. So there we go. Enjoy the rest of the day, everyone. Take care. Bye-bye.